Hello and welcome to Hacking the Exile, the show that gives you all that extra material that you need to really enjoy the Hacking the Exiles webisode. I have for the last uh, couple of months been interviewing all the cast members of, of the show and also some other guests who you've seen in, in, in the episodes. But, but one of the main um, cast members have eluded me so far. Uh, every time I've tried to get him for an interview, he's always been busy somewhere. But, but finally, I, I managed to get him here. Uh, and it's a great pleasure for me to finally be able to introduce to you um, Amelia, Amelia Anosotos, Head of Office, Matthias Bjarnemalm. Welcome. Uh, well, thank you. I'm, I'm very glad to be here. Well, I'm glad to have you here. I've been trying to get you here for a couple of times and you've always been busy, but, but finally you're here. So, uh, how come you've never been on the show before? You wouldn't believe it, but actually it is like every time, every time you've you've had time for these uh, programs. I've actually been busy, uh, busy interviewing people for, for a show I'm, I'm doing. So it, it has been a, a com conflict of schedule every single time. But, but uh, yeah, that's, that's actually the reason. Well, I'll, I'll take your word for it. Um, and I'm glad that you're here, as I said. But uh, where should I start? There's so many questions I would want to ask you, but, but, but now when I finally have you here, uh, let's start with something simple. Your title is Head of Office. Can you explain what that actually means? Well, well you could say that uh, to some extent it's actually just a fancy title for the one uh, who do all the paperwork. So I, I keep track of the office, I, I do the accounting, the invoices, uh, I, I try to uh, fix uh, Amelia's schedule so that it's up to date uh, and, and see that uh, well, the office meetings go on as planned and, and so on. Uh, so, uh, uh, well, I, I'm, I'm mainly the guy hanging out at the office doing all, all the paperwork. Well, that doesn't seem too glamorous. Are you really telling me that there is no perks to, to the position? Well, well, I mean, to be honest, I, I do get to boss the interns around and uh, that is always a plus, uh, I suppose. And, and also, um, sometimes when Amelia is too busy for meetings, I, I get to be her stand-in. And uh, uh, that, that is also, uh, of course, one of the things I really appreciate about the job. And, and uh, also, uh, I have some other tasks designated more to, to the head of office part that um, representing her externally and so on. That is, uh, so it is a useful title to have, but I, I don't think you should read too much into it. Okay, well, uh, that is always something, I suppose. Uh, but uh, you've been a cast member since the start of the show. How would you say that the show have, have developed over time? Is it all as it was in the beginning, or, or, or can, you, can you see any difference in, in how, how the show is going? Well, that, that, that is a good question. I, I think the show has come a long way over these three uh, seasons that we've had it running. Uh, in the beginning, we were sort of trying our grounds. We didn't really know uh, where we wanted to go with the show. Uh, we, we, we didn't know how to produce it. We didn't know how to do all this. And, uh, and also, we, we didn't have uh, dedicated staff to the same extent. So it was more like someone grab a camera and film, and then we see what happens. And, uh, and then sometimes in the first season, for example, with the ACTA show, we, we tried to script it a little bit more, but that was all, always a, a trial and error. Second season was a little bit uh, better. Uh, early on, we got Felipe, our intern, who is doing most of the filming, and that was a great boon for the show because then we got some continuity and, and we got a lot more filming going on uh, because it's, it's always difficult for all of us when we are, uh, when we are you know, doing our work to be filming us doing the work at the same time. Uh, so having Felipe dedicated to that, uh, that, was, uh, that was a huge step forward. And, and also we had a lot of communications back with Tess, our producer in Sweden, on, on how we wanted to do it. Uh, so so in, in, in regards to, for example, uh, the music that we have in the show, it's, it's much better now when we have almost always some, some Creative Commons music in, in the background to make the show more enjoyable for the viewer. So uh, it has come a long way and, uh, and I hope it shows and I hope the viewers appreciate it. Okay, that seems that there have been some improvement. Uh, so what can we expect from the future? Well, what, one thing we have been, we've been looking at and what you will see actually uh, this week, the, the last episode and the coming episodes, they are the first two episodes that are bound together by a story arc. So this is the Pirate Bay uh, away from keyboard film 
uh, episodes. So you will have uh, an episode that doesn't finish in one episode, but actually spills over to the next one. We, we try to keep the episode short. Um, every episode we have is around uh, seven minutes, sometimes they're up to nine, ten, but we try to have them at seven minutes uh, so that people have, you know, they will want to view it. But, uh, but that means that uh, if we want to tell a longer story, uh, it's, it's a bit tricky. So uh, for, for the part we're away from keyboard, we're split into two episodes. Uh, that was uh, the idea of Ulf, uh, who does, does a lot of the scripting nowadays uh, for the show. And uh, this summer, we will also see uh, a trip to the German General Assembly of, of the German pirates. And that will hopefully be three or, or even four episodes. Uh, where we you know, have one episode for Amelia coming to Germany, another when she's there and interacts with the German pirates, and then uh, one episode about her speech uh, at the assembly, uh, which is, it was a really good speech, so that you can look forward. So that is, that is one of the big changes that I think we'll, you will see and hopefully enjoy in the future. Okay, well, well that sure seems interesting. I'm, I'm really looking forward to see it. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you had the time to come here, even if the interview was a bit short. Uh, it was a pleasure to have you here. Well, the pleasure was all mine. I assume you might actually have a point there, uh, but I hope that the viewers also en enjoyed seeing this. And um, we will be back two weeks from now, as usual, with another episode of Hacking the Exile. Uh, hoping to see you there. And thank you for coming.